So I've been building my mega site and I've been building it the right way. So what is the right way? Let's find out. Let's get into this. Hi and welcome back to my channel again. Many of you know that I've been building a mega site over the last six months. Well, I've been building it for around four months now, but it's been planning it for, well, nearly a year. And I've been trying to build this website in the right way. So let me ask you a question. How many of you have built a website? You've taken out some hosting, you've added a theme, you started putting some content on there, and pretty much that is it. Or maybe you've opened a few social media accounts, maybe you've opened a Facebook group, and you've put a few posts on there, a few pictures on there, and that's about it. That's exactly what I did. I used to build websites with just the notion that I simply took out some hosting, added a theme on there, and that would be it. I could just add content on and leave it, and that's it. Well, it used to work like that. Unfortunately, now with Google changing their algorithm and trying to give everybody a better user experience, they now measure a lot more data on your website. So not only do you need to provide good content, you need to also put a few green ticks in a certain box. So I've been building this mega website and obviously it's in a very wide, broad niche. And a lot of people saying it is gonna be impossible to rank for a niche as broad as this one and I'm gonna to need to do everything I possibly can to make it work. So I've tried to build the website, what I say correctly, because I've tried to think of this website as a real business. So, so just as if I had a bricks and mortar business, what would I do to publicize and market my business? So I've been going that extra mile with this site and hopefully this will help me build some authority within this niche and be able to rank this mega website in such a competitive market. So what are the extra things I've done to build this website correctly? Well, the first thing I did is actually use a social fortress. So if you've not heard of that, basically it's a way of opening lots of social media accounts. So not just Facebook, not just Pinterest, not just YouTube, there's hundreds of social media accounts out there that you can actually join. So what I've done is I've purchased a social fortress package, which is basically handing the details of the website over to a company and they go out and they open lots of different social accounts. And what that does is that shows uh, Google that you're actually actively going out there and marketing your business. And also obviously you pick up the link then from that social media platform over to your website. So Google sees that you are really actively going out there and marketing your business. So I think it's really important in certainly the next few years to come that we really show Google that we are a genuine business and we are looking to do the website right. So that would involve opening not just one social media account, but opening lots, in fact, as many as you can. So I've been using a company to outsource that uh, I am an affiliate for them. If you want to check them out, I will leave the link in the description. I purchased the Social Fortress package, which got me around 50 social media accounts. I mean, some of these social media accounts I didn't even know existed, but there are hundreds, and each one of those is showing Google that you're actively going out there and trying to find visitors and users that really want to see your content. So you can check them out. I think it cost me around $130, and I got around 50 accounts opened. There's no way I could have opened 50 accounts myself. Uh, it would have taken me months to do that. So I think don't even think that's the biggest package. I think you can get one that opens around 150 social accounts. So what they do is they open these accounts. You get the password and the username. So you have total access to it. And then you can go into each one of those if you wish, change the passwords and actually start using them. Ideally, that's the best case scenario. But if not, even just having these accounts opened with that connection, with that link from that social media account to your website is gonna really help. So the second thing I've been doing is really focusing on my about page and my writers. So no longer have I just got an about page that has four or 500 words that just says, you know, we are a website that does this and does that. It's actually a really in-depth about page that shows all the writers that I have on the site. The majority of them on there are real. But obviously, there is some uh, aliases for some of the writers on there. But basically, each writer that I have has got their own bio on the about page. But not only that, go the extra mile and actually build social media accounts and email addresses for each one of those writers. 
So Google can see, okay, so you're saying this lady is a specialist in, let's say, cats. Uh, then we build an email address and a social media uh, account for her and um, where we post things about cats. So it links her in a social media account to the topic of cats and links it back to our website. That way we're creating some uh, authoritiveness for that one writer, which is then connected to the website and to the content she's writing. So we're going that extra mile to make sure our about page is as good as it can be. So the next thing we've been doing is actually adding business citations. So what that is, is registering this website with places like yell.com and directories and actually showing Google, hey, this is a genuine business. Because after all, if it was a bricks and mortar business, that is exactly what you would do. We've also been adding a address, email, a branded email, and also a phone number. So the way I did the phone number, I simply went out and purchased a £10 phone from the local supermarket, got a SIM card, which we're never going to use, uh, and added that phone number to that website. Any phone number will do, but it's really ideal if it's a live phone that is activated and works. Then if anybody tries ringing it, you can answer it if you wish. But it's just another good way to show Google, look, we're taking this business, this website seriously. So the next thing we've done is focus on two types of social media, Pinterest and Google Web Stories. So if you touch on Pinterest first, we basically set up a new account for Pinterest. I've actually outsourced this uh, to a company that I've used before and I've seen some good success with, and we're really gonna go hard on Pinterest. Certainly for the next 12 months, we're gonna be making around 30 to 40 new pins every month, and we're gonna do that for a 12 month period. We're also gonna join other boards and try and get some interaction between other boards and our boards to build the boards out as quickly as we can. Pinterest is a search engine and it will build up just like any other form of traffic. It will slowly build up over time. The more impressions our pins get, the more people will see it, the more people will visit the website. So Pinterest is gonna be a strong focus. And the next thing we're doing is Google Web Stories. Now, a lot of people say Google Web Stories have had their day and they're finished with, and you know it's not gonna compete with anything else out there, but however, Google is actually starting to really promote them a little bit. And I've seen some huge successes. I've seen a lady with a food website go from 100,000 page views a month to 700,000 page views within a couple of months of using Google Web Stories. And one of the good things about Google Web Stories, which I am investigating, I don't know the 100% facts about it, but I believe you can even show ads on there. So if you get a Google Web Story that goes viral and it gets hundreds of thousands of views, you can actually monetize that with display ads. So I'm with Ezoic currently on this website, and I'm gonna be using Ezoic to actually monetize those Google Web Stories. Like I said, I've only just found this out, so I've not even practiced it yet, I've not implemented it yet, but I've got advice directly from Ezoic and they said it is possible. So that's something really interesting and something to look out for. And obviously, as soon as I get some data and some facts, I will bring that to you. So the next step, we're gonna possibly do a YouTube channel. Now, this is something within this niche that might be a little bit tricky, It'd be very hard for me to go to locations that are related to this niche. So I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet, possibly somebody recommended to me that I could just do animation videos. Uh, and all I'm really trying to do is get that connection between YouTube and the website again, and hopefully get some of that social juice, that link juice passing from YouTube over to the website. But that's gonna be a final stage. That's probably something we're gonna deal with maybe next year. At the minute, we're gonna really focus on the Pinterest and the Google Web Stories. So that's basically what we are trying to do to build the website correctly. We've also focused on speed. We're using Oxygen and a really fast hosting company. So the website is lightning fast. So that is one of the other things that we've been focusing on to really build that website in the right manner. As always, I'm gonna bring in the results. I am starting to see a glimmer now. It's been three and a half, going on for four months now. I will bring a video out in the next couple of weeks when we hit half a million words on the website, which I believe should be next week, maybe the week after, and I'll show you the kind of traffic and impressions we're getting with half a million words on the website after four months of running. So thanks for joining me in this video. If you like it, please do hit the thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so, and then you can follow my journey with this mega website. So thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next video.